Hello everyone! The second video in the Coding Spencer series is here. Unlike the simple timer example from the last video, this code will begin when you click on the big red button. If you wish to code something with the buttons, head to the I.O. block section. To begin, drag this when big button pressed block into the drawing area. Now, find the fill frame with zero block from the matrix block section. Change the zero into 255 to ensure that the LEDs light up. Also, don't forget the push frame to matrix block so your code is executed properly. Now, let's code what will happen once we release the button. Return to the IO block section and look for the when big button released block. Drag it and drop it into the drawing area. You can duplicate the same matrix blocks inside it. This time, replace the 255 with zero. Here's how your code should look. Your code is almost finished. The only thing that's missing is the scan buttons block inside the loop forever block. It is important to include these blocks whenever you are coding something with the buttons. Now you are ready to click on the run button. Try pressing the big red button. You will see that the LED matrix is turned on while the button is pressed and it turns off once you release it. If you want to put the stock firmware back onto your device, just go here and click on the restore firmware button. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more examples.